Hey and welcome, I'm your boy Solo. In this video I'll be going over how to set up commands to show your Apex RP gains and much more. And before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. Okay, okay, you want to be able to track your stats. You want to be able to type it in your Twitch or streamer. This is going to give you some stats in your chat. It's going to be very easy to set up and I'm going to bring you through the process. For this we're just looking for a few stats like our RP game per match and etc etc. Just a few things. And to do this we're going to have to do some custom API stuff here. All right, and the first thing that we're going to need to do to get these here commands, there's a few ways to do it. There's a few different trackers. There's a few different websites. We're going to use a custom API for this one here. Now, this one here is a stat twitch stat tracker dot com. You can go to this here website here, https colon forward slash forward slash twitch apex stats dot com. So we're going to go over to that website right now and we're going to get this here started. Alright, once you're in here, it's going to say welcome to Twitch Apex Stats. It'll say access supporter dashboard. It's going to give you some other things, supporter dashboards, announcements, command builder. This is going to be the one that we're going to want. So we're going to click over here on the command builder and this is going to say command builder. Uh, it'll give us some things here and we're going to want to put our name in here. So we're going to use a ZNS bot. We already did this here for, um, I did this for myself, ZN Solo 101. So I don't want to do it twice on the same one. I want to go through the full process. So this is going to be ZNS bot. You got to make sure that you put your Twitch TV slash your name in here. You got to make sure that you do that. And we're going to want to make sure that we pick the bot. This will be good for night bot, stream elements, stream lab, cloud bot streamlabs desktop move bot this pretty much covers all the basic bot or pretty much anyone that i've ever seen in chat that's a good thing about this here it's very easy to set up in the stats the twitch apex stats.com seems to have a really good intuitive website and it's easy to work around so we're just going to click stream elements and click next step now this is going to generate all of the codes that you're going to need you don't need to use them all you only need to use one or two and you could do other things like i've got them copy pasted here let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see these all you really need to do is use the command custom api and then insert the apex stats once once you're linked and you paste this here in your first time it'll ask you to authenticate it and it'll be fine so you can just paste one of these here and it's going to bring you to the same process but for this we're going to go through it the long way we're going to go to twitch apex stats and we're going to go from scratch so we're just going to click on the next we definitely want it in English. We're going to click next again. Now it's going to give us for what stats that we want. Do we want PC, Xbox, or PlayStation stats? Pick our ZN Solo 101. I have to pick ZN Solo 101 because my Twitch name for ZNS bot is going to be different than my username in game. Now this is one of the reasons why I always suggest to new streamers to use the same name everywhere. You should be using your, your streaming name should be in all of your games should be everywhere. You should own your brand. That's very important. So keep that in mind when you're doing this. If you have a bunch of different names like this here, I wouldn't ver find very efficient. It should have been Twitch TV, ZN Solo 101, username ZN Solo 101 for all games, all platforms, and then just click verify account. We found an account that matches the, please verify the account details below to make sure it's the correct one. Okay, Legend Newcastle, Bronze 2. This looks all current. That looks like I just played. And we'll click next step after you make sure and double check that it's your information. Now there's general commands, uh, session commands we're just gonna you can click down through them and choose which ones you want so if you only want certain stats you can go through here and just read what ones they are so command player stats your rank battle arenas and etc etc it'll go through a lot of different ones down here and there is a lot of them so you might want to only select a few of them the ones that you want and generate those ones i found the only one that i really used was the one for rp so this is the one that I used right here is start session and just your RP kills, your player stats, your AP and the RP is all right. So it's right here just down the list a little bit. It'll be RP. This is the only command that we actually want because we just want to see how much RP we gain every single time that we're playing. This RP and start session are two good ones that I super like to use. It allows you to start your session and see how much you've gained within that time. So that'll be for BR kills. Start session will be for AP and RP and then the RP one. So those are the only ones I use. So please keep that in mind. We're just going to give this here a close and we're going to generate every one of them for this here, just for this example. And we're going to generate commands. Now these are going to be like your player stats. You can copy paste these like this. Same as if you copy this here code. If you're just copying this code, you just need to put your name in here. Then over here, you need to put your in-game name. So your Twitch name and then your in-game name go here. So you can make these commands from scratch if you happen to know some of this. But we're just going to go down here to the RP command. We're going to copy the text for the RP command. We're going to jump over into our chat. 
and we're just gonna paste it in here. So we're gonna go command add exclamation mark rp and then we're gonna paste it in from where it says the dollar sign custom ap and that full link you need to paste all of this correctly as it is or it won't work then we're gonna click enter it's gonna say that our command has been added we're just gonna we're gonna double check it we're gonna exclamation mark rp and see how it goes all right, and it worked right away. Now, the little disclaimer, this here might have been already accepted on this here account for other things. When you first use a custom API for your very first time, it may ask you to click a link in your chat. That is perfectly fine. That is something that commonly happens. I may have already done this. I tried to use a different account so that I could uh, replicate those things that happen. But usually what happens when you use custom API for your very first time, it'll ask you to authenticate it or to confirm that you're gonna be using custom APIs with your account and it'll be a little link that shows up in chat instead of this here information. If that does come up, you won't see your RP information. It'll say that you need to go in and click on the link and authenticate. It'll let you know. And like I said, if you see anything different than that, just give it a click. It'll run you to the website and make you confirm and accept the authentication to the account. And then it'll show right up. But that's as easy as it is. You'll have all the Apex commands and you'll be able to go down through this here website here. You can rebuild them over and over again. So if you get it wrong, don't worry. Just go back to the commands and start over. It's not going to do anything different you're just copy paste these and put them in pick the ones you want and that's it you'll have the commands that you want for apex but that's really all there is to it i just wanted to cover this in a quick video just to get everyone started with the commands i've been asked a lot about the how to add the rp commands for apex tracker and stuff like that so i found it i'll just make a video for it then this covers a couple of things it's very easy i wanted to make sure that i found the most straightforward way possible and this is it just click the website go and make your commands add them here if it asks you to accept the custom api please click on the link accept the custom api so that it'll show up and that should be it i hope this here helped you get it set up in your chat if you think i forgot or left something out definitely leave it in the comments below and if you like or found this video helpful hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content thanks for watching